Hello YouTube. This is Poodle 1176. I was out this evening uh, putting out my watermelons. I pulled this plastic up. First I weed eated everything, cut the grass, and then I plowed it. And then uh, I laid this plastic back down. And uh, I'm going to show you how I plant these. I got a helper out today. Me! Yeah, you. She's the foreman of the job. She, I'm foreman of the job. She's all the brains and I'm all the brawn. I'm all foreman the job. Huh? You're all foreman. Okay. But anyhow, this is how I do it. Uh, you see, I got two plants to the hill. What I'm calling a hill is just each spot. Uh, a lot of the old timers, they used to fill up the dirt. Kind of like that right there. I'm going to put pumpkin there. But uh, and then they, would, they would just sow the seeds in the ground. What I've done here is I've got two plants. And this white stuff you see, my great uncle, uh, he raises watermelons to sell. Crimson sweet. That's what he sells. He get about the size of a medicine ball. And uh, he told me if you want a good taste of watermelon, and his is probably the most sought after in our county. And uh, he says take a handful of garden lime and throw in the bottom of your hoe. Put your plant in there. And then I always take, pour some water in there. And then I take the dirt, pour the dirt around it. And take the dirt around it. Push some dirt in there, sis. Like this. There you go. No use a former for some reason. And then that's all there is to it. That's all I'm doing. I take and uh, put this plastic down to keep the weeds out of it. That's the only reason. Don't bother it no more, sissy. That's good. And I stagger the hills. Before, in the past, I put like one here, one there. I try to stagger them so the nutrients, you know, uh, so you don't rob the, root, the nutrients from one by having too many in there, basically. All it is. I don't really remember the days on these. Uh, I know this is about the time that I plant them normally. And uh, I'll har start harvesting them into July, 1st of August. Uh, usually about the time we get ready to go on vacation, they start coming in and uh, I have plenty. I mean, I, I raise out of these one, two, three, four, five, six hills of watermelons, I'll raise probably, I'll harvest, I'd say at least 50 watermelons. And, uh, you know, if you want to sell them around here, uh, our local produce place sells them for $7.99 a piece. You can sell them all day long for $5 a piece. Uh, I really wish there was a way to preserve them, but other than eat them or feed them to the the chickens, they're eating some scraps right now. Some vegetable scraps. I don't really know what you could do. Look at my foreman. She's playing in the water bucket. Well, guys, thanks for watching. Comment, leave any suggestions. See you later.